think they both deserve the same amount of love since they both brought a title to those places. Fellas, fellas, fellas. This isn't a oh. block where you need your nose. Oh. We just talking, oh, wow. Marcellus. I don't need all these playoffs to... No, they've definitely underachieved. And it's very, very simple. Mm. You give me a top 10 head coach and a top 10 quarterback, top five head coach, top five quarterback, historically in the NFL, I'm at least going to get two Super Bowl appearances out of that duo. At least. How? We can talk Brady, Belichick. You going we can talk Walsh, Montana. We can talk Carol Russell Wilson. We can talk Starback Landry. We can talk Aikman, Jimmy Johnson. Heck, we can talk Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. They already won for one in their third year together. If you give me a top five coach and a top five quarterback, I'm going to get at least two Super Bowl appearances out of that. We can talk Roethlisberger, uh, uh, Mike Tomlin. Like, Marcellus, be real. Talk whoever you I'll want. be real. Give me a combination of two top, a uh, top 10 coach, top 10 QB. I should see multiple can, chips. Can I jump but in? You give yeah, me yeah, jump in. I, I should see multiple this, chips. Top 10 but, is just but, vague. But, but, but I, What's top 10? So Breeze isn't a top can 10 I quarterback? Ask you, oh, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Please. Can I ask you a question? So you're, you're assuming that they're top five at their professions, top five coach, top, or top five ten, quarterback. Or top ten. If you want to loosen it up, 10. loosen it up. Then how are you an underachiever? You're underachieving because you have, I said this, expectation <laughs> minus reality. <laughs> you can, hey, hey, Marcellus. You no, Marcellus. I'm going to let y'all get Marcellus. your last <laughs> how, 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 Hold on, Acho. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to ask you one more time. <laughs> if you're making them top ten and Correct. top five <laughs> quarterback, coach, and, and tandem, how do you qualify uh -oh. that they're top 10? Top you do five? need those notes. You remember that paper you just no, bought? No, you don't. Go get it. I hear. Go get Here's that paper. Here's my other one. Here's my other one. All right, all right. All right. All right. Ach achievement is based on success, oh, Lamar. Right, right. Achievement is based okay. on chips. And achievement is so based on Super Bowls. So, no, that's so it's it. ranking. So it's ranking. So if they're top five, <laughs> top 10, they can't be underachieving. Ooh, if, they top five, top 10. If, if you are a top five, top 10 talent and you don't have then the you, chips to you've start, earned for it, then you're underachieved. Ooh. Aaron Rodgers, so, people would make the argument. Aaron Rodgers is one of the most talented quarterbacks of this generation. But if Aaron Rodgers leaves his career with one chip, people will say he underachieved. Mm -mm. Because your talent based he on could, what you actually achieve. He could, you're basing your expectation off of what they've shown you they're good enough to achieve. Sure. So mm. if they don't, so if they don't achieve more than what 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 you expected them to achieve, that does not downgrade or downplay mm. how good they truly are. You help. just expected them to do more, mm. but that's created off of an expectation of what they've already shown you and what they've accomplished. The right? No, the expectation I'm is to win a Super Bowl. Too easy. Like, how, no, this isn't this. First bucket brooks now, even Levar. No sense. What is going on even with you, no Archer? You, Marcellus, you're just a hype man. You're just a hype man. Hype Put man. your old money in. Uh, Put your old uh, money in. You're not even ready for the heavyweights. You got to work your way up to this division. Wait, hold on now. Hold on. I'm not no easy win. I didn't say you were. You just ain't ages. You are You ain't for this muscle. You ain't 285. Here's what I'm saying, Lavar, because I actually, I get where you're coming from. Well, not anymore. What I'm saying is this. Achievement in the NFL, LA, it's a Super Bowl. Yep. If you want to say it's not, then Stop. I'll bow out of this conversation. That's the, no, that is the ultimate. Yeah. No, no, I won't disagree with you on here. That is the ultimate achievement. Of course. And you said at least two. At least give right? me two. You said at least two Super Bowls. Give me two. Bowls. Well, can we, can we identify the fact that it was a referee that held them out of their sure. second Super Bowl Sure, I thought about that. Appearance? Think about this. Mm. You let uh, the, the Minnesota Miracle, Case Keenum, you let a referee okay. with the Rams, and then you lose to Kirk Cousins. But if, if we're being real and we got to identify this, why were those games that it close? It shouldn't even be that close. Thank you. It shouldn't be that close. Like, that's my point. I, I can sympathize, and I'm going to give it to you, Marcellus. I oh, can sympathize yeah. with where you're coming from. But in order to have a conversation of this magnitude, you have to be deserving of the conversation. Yes. And so for me, they have earned the right to be in the conversation of had they underachieved because of how great they had been. They delivered a Super Bowl. If we want to really go there, there have been some greats. We look at Archie as one of the greats to ever do it, and he didn't sniff a Super Bowl with the New Orleans Saints. So to me, when I look at the greatness of Drew Brees and Sean Payton, I'm not going to I'm not going to say they've underachieved when they've done something for that city that no other team has ever done. And I'll stop there and give it to you, Marcel. Yeah, man. Look, to me, this reminds me just of the Michael Jordan era where you saw so many other greats, top 10 players with top 10 coaches in situations. I can look at Hakeem Olajuwon who had to wait for Jordan to retire for two years to go get his. When you're playing against 
Peyton Manning, and Tom Brady, and your name is Drew Brees, you just got to kind of, like, find your way to get yours, and he got his. Now, should he have gotten more? Now you're going into a different conversation because you're going off of yeah. your expectation. I was there when Drew Brees was drafted. Day one, saw his first pass. First of all, Acho, he was a second rounder. Of course. So when you're a second rounder, I don't even think you're supposed to climb up to be a top 10 ever, and that's where he's climbed. But now he climbs himself because of his performances into the conversation. But then once he gets to that top tier, you want to say, ah, but you didn't do enough. When if you judge a man by the distance traveled, he shouldn't even been in this conversation in the first place. He, you can't use the same thing against him that you used to get him there. He got into the conversation. Your Ex beast. Expectation minus reality equals disappointment. The expectation, once Drew Brees got into that conversation with another great in Sean Payton, was that they would at least get me to another few championships. Since Drew Brees got to their championship, uh, NFC South, Atlanta Falcons, they've been to a Super Bowl. NFC South, Carolina Panthers, they've been to a Super Bowl. Drew Brees and Sean Payton, the tandem, have underachieved. Individuals, sure, say what you will, but collectively, a lack of total achievement, which is hosting... How many more. Hall of Famers? Coming Katrina. up, Katrina Uncle did. Jimmy will give his thoughts on the day's show. You can't miss this.